Blog Talk Radio. You are now tuned into the best fatherhood radio show in the world. Furthering Fathering Radio Show. It's the Furthering Fathering Radio Show. The, the, the brothers are back in the building. Brother J in NYC and Brother L in the ATL. The, the, the Furthering Fathering Radio Show starts in five. Four, three, two, one. You ready? Let's get the conversation started. I emphasize that if anyone is listening to this as a replay or listening to it live, connect with further and fathering. You will be encouraged. You will be edified. The 20, 30 minutes that we're on the radio chopping it up is nothing compared to the energy and the strength you will receive from men who love you just because you're a man. And then as they get to know you, they speak life to you, they challenge you, they affirm you, and they enable you to be powerful where you're needed, which is with your family. Brother Derek, you're saying hello. It's not only only, um, good for the child, but I think it's a mandate from God. Um, I think the heart of the Father belongs to men, and God has called us to be that for as many children as we can. So I don't echo everything you said. I'm, I'm, I'm fully on board with that. And I think um, the call is for more men to embrace that truth so that we can begin to rebuild our community, our nation, one family at a time. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome, 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 welcome to another Further and Father and Radio Show. The brothers are back in the building. I am your host, Pastor Jeremy Maynard here in New York. Excited to be alive. Yes, 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 yes. Further and farther back in effect Doing what we do Connecting fathers Honoring fathers And you know how we always do We always start off by honoring Our Heavenly Father Because honor is at the core of what we're going to be doing today And I'm going to read from Romans uh, 13 verse 7 to 9 And it reads as follows in the King James Render therefore to all their dues tribute to whom tribute is due custom to whom custom fear to whom fear honor to whom honor owe no man anything but to love on one another for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law for this Thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet any other commandment. It is briefly comprehended in saying this, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for you are worthy of honor, the ultimate father. Thank you, Lord, that you've designed propagation, perpetuation through fatherhood. I ask that you continue to honor men with, the, with, with the, not only the responsibility, but honor men with the focus, with the humility, with the transparency, with the love, with the joy, with the commitment, with the consistency to be great fathers to be great leaders. We thank you, Lord, for you are the Aleph Betaleph, our Abba, and we look to you, the author and finisher of our faith, that we may become good fathers, so that we may glorify you in our fatherhood, so that you may say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. We thank you in the master's name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, amen and amen. This broadcast is brought to you by Unique Loop-de-Loop. Get that unique jewelry for that unique woman. Visit at 
unique loop de loop dot com. Also brought to you by the Haven Church of New York, the safe place to grow in grace where peace is made and the truth makes us free. Well, we're in the honoring business. We love to honor, and we may be even honoring someone we've honored before, but it's in a slightly different way today. Um, there have been a couple, a few gentlemen who constantly sown into Lamont and I, uh, sown wisdom, sown encouragement. Uh, and then there's another gentleman whose son I, had, I have been in contact with, counseling, praying for, uh, a, a, just being a, a good friend to. And he, every conversation we had, he always brought up his father. So with that said, we're going to be honoring two incredible dads today. Um, the first, I'm going to bring him on, Herman Reed. How you doing, Herm? Oh, man, I'm, I'm great. I'm great, Pastor Jeremy. Everything is well. It's, oh, I am, to be I'm happy to hear your voice. Let, let, let me tell you guys a little bit about Herman Reed. Uh, Lamont and I uh, were blessed to, 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 to be nominated by him to lead a group that he was already leading. Um, and we were under his wing, uh, and he showed us some valuable leadership lessons. Um, we, we, we had a group in International Christian uh, Brotherhood called Josiah. And there were a lot of very talented and gifted men, men who've gone on to do other things and, and, and do great things. And, and uh, there was a break when things shifted from being surface area to really getting deep, to really getting serious, to really getting to the crux and to love. And it happened when my brother Herm, decided to be transparent as a leader. That's a foreign thing because so many people like to hide behind a title. So many people like to hide behind uh, 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 the, the facade of perfection, error-free, no problems because they're in, in a position of leadership. But when he became transparent, it broke everything loose in real brotherhood. We circled up we prayed more often. We were very forthright and earnest, but, but, but even something that we developed in Furthering Fathering called guarded transparency was developed as that being the catalyst behind it. So I'm here to, to thank Herm as a dad and as a leader. We want to honor you as, as a leader and, and, and as a, a consistent big brother. Let me tell you, there's certain people – who uh, send me IMs with prayers almost on a daily basis? There's certain people in the background. They don't. They don't. They, 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 they're not showy. They 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 they're not, they're not a big production to to show what they're doing. But consistently, I have been blessed with mentors and big brothers. Uh, I happen to be the big brother in my family, and my dad happened to be the big brother in his family. And so it's very rare for someone for you to look up to. And I'm blessed to have my dad, but I'm also blessed to have consistent mentorship. Uh, 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 I want to give a shout-out to, 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 to Prophet Sabine, who calls in to me all the time, John Worthy, who's been, who's been mentoring me since back in the World Trade Center. Yes, even before it went down, he was mentoring, he was mentoring me, and he still sends me hmm. stuff almost every day. But Herman Reed both on, uh, on every form of social media, sends me prayers of encouragement, and it's usually right on time. I want to say thank you, Herm. Thank you and love you, Herm. I, I love you too, and you're, 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 you're welcome. Um, thank you. You, have, you and Lamont have been a blessing in my life and continue to be a blessing, and I'm just – so honored to have you, have you brothers, to have you in my life, and continue to lift you guys, you brothers, up in prayer and for your families. You, you guys need to be honored. 
because you're an awesome father, awesome pastor, awesome man of God, you and, and Lamont. And I just thank you for this honor. Um, as you know, I'm not a, really a man of many words, but I, I just I thank know. you for this. <laughs> and this, I raise this, you. This, thank you. Love, love you. Love you, big bro. Love you, big bro. Um, I, I love you, too. And just can continue doing what you guys are, are doing. And, and I know 2022, I know you're going to take it up to a, another, a, 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 a new level. And Yes. Oh, man. Yes. Yes. That, 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 and we want to live our principles in front of everyone. And uh, that, it, that it's not a small thing to, to honor men who deserve it. And you you deserve it. I'm, I'm, I, I can call you a consistent encourager. Where does that importance oh, for encouragement come from? And and uh, what is something in you, or something you may have been shown as a child, or something that's in you? And, and it's not it's not just a, a, a regular thing. It's a special thing. Uh, where does it come from? And why is it so important to you? Wow. I I would like to say, well, my my father, um, who was a big influence in in my life, and I just always had a compassion and a love for for people, for serving. Um, as you as we know, uh a great leader has that to be a great servant. Yes. And yes. Um and that's where I think um my influence of my from my you know, from, from my from my family, my father and actually my mom, my mother. Yeah. Wow. So 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 your 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 encouragement comes from it you seeing it with your parents. And and, and yes. it became normal for you. That's a beautiful yes. thing. That's yes. crazy. That's training up a child in the way they should go. I want to give an applause to your dad and your mom. Oh wow! Thank you. Thank, thank you. I, I I I know I know they're 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 smiling and looking down. You know, from from above. I mean, you know, I was not the perfect. I was not the perfect son. You know, but none of us are. <laughs> I, I try to. Yes, I just try to be. The best I, you know, the best I can, and 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 just learning to be uh, a man, um, and what and 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 what it entails, and wow, um, I got that of course from the ICB, but from just you know being around, even just being around uh, around you and watching you, and watching Lamont, um, even though I was the leader, but watching standing back and watching. Just watching how you how you loved your family, how, almost how you your relationship with God, and striving to 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 grow your leadership. I mean that that just I mean that just spilled spilled out of you. That just oozed out of you your, uh, the leadership of you and 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 Lamont. Wow. You know, forever, eternally. Um, Grateful and and, and 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 admirable of 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 you and Lamont. Oh, we, we are ever grateful and admirable of you. Um, you know, as a matter of fact, um, this honor will be will be for faithfulness and consistency for you. And and um, it's you. one thing to hear it, you know. At, at, at a eulogy, when other people are saying it, when a person can't hear it, we want to give you your flowers yeah. now. You know, it's one thing when we <laughs> honored you back in, I believe that was 2012 or 2013. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, uh, that was when we first started. But you've exhibited yes. a level of faithfulness since then that gives you even a higher level of honor, and, and, we, and we want to love on you. And thank you for that. Thank you. You're I thank you and I honor you. And I was going to ask you. I was going to ask yes. you about football, about 
being an ex-football player, if that had something to do with it. Um, you know, yes, it just came well, up football. this weekend. Mm-hmm. Go, well, you know, it's funny you, you mentioned that. It's funny. I'm sorry. It's funny that you mentioned that because I was going to um, – I was actually going to bring up about, uh, you know, when will I be able to watch your your son uh, play? <laughs> yeah, uh, yes, and my a lot of my discipline came from sport. Um, the, the the you know this the, the discipline of sports and 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 the effect it had on me, uh, even um, in my academic, um, because of course to be eligible to. To play sports, I had to maintain grades, and because because I came from a home um, where my parents and specific my father was very 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 strict and and, and um, very um, demanding that you had to sports was sports was good being a football player and all that stuff, but the academics. Um, is what getting the education something that no, not, something that cannot be taken away from you, you know. Yeah. You, as we know, football, football and sports. You, you, if 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 you know anything about the NFL, your career, it, the, the NFL really stands for not for long. Yeah. And as you see, as you see what is taking place, this you know, um, with players, and you see taking places, you know, taking place with coaches. Wow. Yes. yes. We see what's going to take your place. And, and that's funny you bring that up because um, starting this Friday, um, I'm going to be doing uh, SMART. We have already have a SMART group on Facebook, but there's a YouTube okay. channel we've started, and we're going to start uh, broadcasting SMART, which is stands for Sports, Music, Art, Recreation, and Technology. So this Friday – my son and I, and I hopefully some more of the brothers from further will join in, and we will okay. broadcast uh, 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 smart sports, music, art, recreation, and technology. It's another way for for men, dads, and multiple multiple generations to connect. You know, something we all love to talk about. But there's also life lessons, like you're the one you're teaching us yeah. now. Uh, um, uh, that that playing sports gives you a level of discipline that. Um, Carries over into other areas of life. Yes. So, so yes, lo- love you, Herm. I want you. I want you to stay on. I hopefully um, our brother uh, is on the line. Um, and, and who on whom's other dude, uh, another dad we want to honor. Um, let me see if this is. If he's here. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm not. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere, uh, Pastor. Uh, awesome. Here. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, hello, seventy-five ninety-seven. Pastor Jeremy, how are you? <laughs> Rick. Oh my God! Love you, man. <laughs> Yo, I am... you have been so friends for so long. Wow, it is yes. Different calling you, Pastor Jeremy, but you, that's, that's you, who you, you are. Call, you can just that's say Jay. You hey, you can just say Jay. I'm not. I'm not big on entitlement. Or titles. What I'm big on is loving no. people, loving God, and loving people. And and well, that's I love what a pastor you, is to me. So <laughs> love you too, but that's what a pastor is to me. So I don't mind calling you that. <laughs> oh, oh man. Um, and <laughs> and we, uh, we go Reed, back. You know that was. Yeah, yeah. We and, go back and, uh, with, like, from what I heard from like this... spines. <laughs> yeah, we do. Like vertebrae. We do. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, so, from what I heard, when I heard from Mister Reed, that was really good. That was really, uh, really well. Her, Herm is an incredible um, man. He's not regular. He, he's not regular. I, I he's not tell. regular. He's not regular. <laughs> and, and, and from talking to you over the past twenty or thirty years, I don't. Uh, um, you know, we go back to to to, to just post nine eleven, um, uh, working in IT, and um, mm-hmm. from from the jump. Almost every conversation we have. I even came to church with you one time over there, over there in Queens. Yeah, you did. And, and, and I met your yeah. dad back then. And yep. but every conversation, I'm talking about. We've talked hundreds and hundreds of times. Every conversation you mentioned, and I don't have to prompt it. I don't have to ask. You bring up your dad. You bring up 
<laughs> the effect that he's had on your life. You bring up the the way he reconnects. When I think of your dad, I think of mm-hmm. the picture of the prodigal son's father, who is always available, and he is worthy of honor. We've talked I've talked about your dad offline so many times, and, and mm-hmm. further and father, we're big on honoring fatherhood. I want to honor your dad. Mm-hmm. I want to, uh, to 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 say, Mister. J. Allen Williams, you are worthy of honor. God bless you and love you. You've done a, a, beyond a yeoman's job. You've done a phenomenal job at being a consistent, available, and loving dad. And I, I, um, I just want to say thank you to him. And, and, and I, know, I know you're on the line for him. Um, uh, yes. Yeah, I just want to say that. Thank you. And, uh, 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 go Thanks. ahead, Ricky. You want to say something about your dad? I want you to talk no. about your dad in the same blowing terms <laughs> that we talk about offline. Because tell, tell well, us, tell the, the audience, first of all, h- mm-hmm. how old your dad is and how he's been there for well, you. Go ahead. My um, January 31st will be his 90th birthday. So, Hallelujah. Um, I am so I am so glad that I still have my best friend with me, you know, um, every day with him is a blessing. Um, and through my life, um, he has given me everything that I needed to succeed. If I messed up, that was, that was on me. I mean, he had nothing to do with that, but he has given me everything that I needed to succeed in life. And my wife and I, after the first of the year, we decided to move back in with my dad because he lost his wife two years ago. Then he lost his best friend a year later, wow. so he was alone. Um, so my wife, I asked my wife, if she mind if I came back home to take care of my dad, you know, for the time re- that he has remaining? And she said, you know, she didn't mind. So January 1st, we moved in back in to my home where I grew up at with my dad. So we're here taking oh, care of him, making sure that he's comfortable, you know, and um, I just wanted to give back the love that he gave me through the years. And I can see, you know, how happy he is now. Um, He's in love with my wife, you know. (laughs) He loves my wife so much, and my wife loves him. So we are giving him the things that he he didn't really have, you know. Like my wife is such a good cook, and, and, you know, so he's eating well every day, every day. (laughs) Uh, And I try to take him out, you know, once a week, twice a week, whenever I can, you know, he has issues where he, with his back right now, but and I try to do things with him, you know, um, but he has given me so much through the years that I just, I don't know how I can repay him, but I just ask the Lord that, you know, that I do the best that I can and, and I show him love the way he showed me unconditional love, you know, and, um, you know, I, I just, I just want to be a good Christian. I just want to be a good son. And that's just what I'm trying to do, you know. You're doing it, Rick. Oh. You're, you're doing it. <laughs> you're doing it. There's oh, so oh. many oh. lonely uh, older men who, as you said, their wives have passed on, their friends have passed on, and the younger generation, because the relationship wasn't as close, mm-hmm. they spent a lot of time by themselves. And it's beautiful, the the, the love that he sowed into you, is coming back to him that you not only mm-hmm. go over there as a caretaker, you moved in with him. You 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 got rid of mm-hmm. where you were before, and you and your wife moved in with him and are just loving on him on a daily basis. That's a beautiful, beautiful testimony <laughs> of quality fatherhood. How it comes back to you. That's well, that's I awesome. figure that. Um... I figure that I, I'd better because I don't think the Lord would like it if I turned my back on him at his time yeah. when he needs it the yeah. most. So, you know, I don't want to go to hell. <laughs> I do not want to go there. <laughs> so None I just do what do. I can to be a good Christian, you know, and yeah. I'm not there yet. I'm still learning and, you know, and I'm just trying to, to do what the Lord asks, you know, and I pray every day that I'm doing the right thing. So. And I try to pass that on, too, with my wife, with the unconditional love. My wife and I, we, we married late. Um, 
This past January 5th was our ninth anniversary. So I try to pass on the same type of love. Yeah, I know, right? (laughs) I remember when you met her. um, Wow. Yeah. You were like the first, I think you were the second one that I introduced you to, you know, as, as, you know, when we first met. So, yeah, you were there from the beginning. But, um, you know, I just try to. I just try to do the same type of unconditional. I give try to give my wife the same unconditional love that my father taught me and my family. And, you know, we're all one big loving family now. So, you know, I try to just pass that on to her. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. If, if, you, if there's a tone that's happened on, on today's <laughs> show, if there's a tone that's happened on today's show, and, and I have Loyal Lance on the line, I'm, I'm going to just – really quickly say hi to Loyal Lance because he's another one that we're going to re-honor with the dedication just like we did with Herm, um, who is consistently loyal and loving. Hey, Lance. Love you, brother. Love you, brother. (laughs) Okay. Amen. Amen. Um, So, yeah, Rick and Herm, um, I'm going to uh, offline. I'm, I'm, be, I'm going to be preparing plaques for 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 you, Herm, and for Rick uh, and Rick for for Mr. J. I'm going to be uh, preparing plaques for you guys and getting them out to you. Um, also, uh, I want to really give a shout out to Lamont because Lamont has uh, redid the, the the website and the further and farther website looks phenomenal. And we're getting back into our first love, our, our, our principles, and we we honored uh, a young lady uh, two weeks ago, uh, 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 dynamic daughters of distinction, and now we're getting back into honoring uh, honoring dads like we we always have. So I just want to mm-hmm. say to to you, Herm, and to um, Rick, mm-hmm. we love you, we appreciate you, you deserve your flowers now, so we're going to give them to you. All right. <laughs> well, oh, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you so You're much. Uh, you. I, 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 I love you guys to life. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I love you to life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the same here, Pastor Jeremy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Pastor, so, I, have to get, I have to get used to Pastor Jeremy, right? <laughs> <laughs> I have to get used to I know, to right? Isn't that <laughs> what you say? <laughs> From the first time, from uh, the first time I met him, I, I, from the first time I met him, I knew he was pastor. I said, "No, this wow. is this is going to be past, Pastor Jeremy." And, wow. Yes, wow. and, and I, I, I'm sorry. I spoke to Verice, uh, Verice Cooper, and he and and he already says yes. That he says Pastor Jeremy. He said he made sure, he made sure that wow. I was politi- politically correct. He says yes. Past, pa- he goes, he, yes, that's Pastor Jeremy Maynard. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> That's cool. I love you guys. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for love putting men like this in my life. Um, <laughs> there's a, you know, everybody needs, needs relationship. And further and farther, we say we grow at the speed of quality relationships. And any growth has happened because God has sent people. He said he gives good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men pour into your bosom, into your heart. Thank you for pouring into my heart. With that said, <laughs> Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for another incredible Further and Father and Radio show. We pray that the, the men that, and women who hear this, that they become inspired to not just look forward to, to, to down at the children and, to tra- and training them up, but also look back at the men who have been consistent, the men who have loved on you, the men who have, who have shown you how to honor, how to encourage, how to serve, and how to give back. I, I, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for your in, incredible intentionality in process and in relationship. This is Further and Fathering, where fatherhood is elevated, families are transformed, and commu- uh, 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 communities are transformed, uh, by our five core principles, honor, encouragement, accountability, reconciliation, and training. And with this last 10 seconds, I want to say we love you. Make sure that you check us out on all media platforms and look forward 
to the Further and Farther radio show going spreading around the globe, and that Further and Fathering serves as best we can, as empowered by the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Ghost. We thank you for victory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Herm. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Williams. Thank you. Love you. Thank you. Until next week, be excited to be alive. Amen. Amen. Amen.